Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. Just depending on what you guys see this video. Uh, sorry if it sounds like I'm talking a little loud or it sounds kind of different. I'm in the truck and um, it's kind of uh, loud in here. So I don't know how you guys can hear me on this uh, microphone. It's my first time trying a video like this with uh, doing this type of video. Uh, as you guys see, like I said, it's me in the truck right there. See, I'm holding my mic. How y'all doing? Um, right now, I'm at a track supply uh, distribution center in Franklin, Kentucky. Uh, I'm not sure how they gonna, how they feel about me flying my drone in the area, but uh, I'm gonna try to give you guys a brief tour, tour of what a DC would look like um that's the parking lot right there where all the um the cars and stuff will come in and those are the people that work here um you see over there that's the building where the distribution center is where everything's getting loaded at those are the trailers um let's see that's the scale where they are load you know what all uh, where they check your load at to make sure your load's not too heavy or anything. Um, of course that's my truck. Um, let's see. These are all the tra all the parking spaces for the trailers on this side. These are your loaded trailers. Um, let's see. I kind of want to go on the other side of the building here, but I'm kind of scared. Man. the other side of the building there. Um, my drone is saying I need to adjust my antennas. So um, I don't want to go too far. Maybe I don't want to go too far. Uh, let me cut the truck off and I can stand outside a little bit. Cause I really want you guys to see all this stuff here. And like I said, this is my first time doing this type of video. And I am an amateur drone flyer. I've never, I'm not like a professional drone flyer person or anything. So, Keep telling me to adjust the antennas. Just keep telling me to adjust the antennas and everything. So, um, I can't really get a good video for you guys. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. Since that's not really working out too good, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back and um, I'm gonna find a trailer that um, that's supposed to be picking up today. Hopefully, um, a yard driver and thing won't get in the way. Um, I'm doing these videos back to back like this for a thing called um, Vlogmas. Vlogmas is a thing where um, all the YouTubers, they start posting their daily videos on YouTube during the month of December. So um, it's kind of hard for me to do it, but I'm going to try anyway. Um, 
So basically what I need you guys to do is, what I'd like for you guys to do is, leave a comment at the bottom of the video so I can answer questions for you guys. Any kind of trucking questions that you may have for me or any kind of questions you may have over any, or anything I've done, like racing or, or you know, any just any activity that I've done. And that way right there, I can answer for you guys so I can make more videos for you. Because uh, believe it or not, I'm trying to post like all month long. Um, So the trailer that we're looking for is 533-466. And it should be in yard spot 414. So let's see. Let me keep my paperwork here. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm going to keep my paperwork right here so I could. So I could um try to find my load right quick. Cause I gotta go to work. Let's see. I said it's gonna be in spot four fourteen. So four fourteen. Yeah, four fourteen, that wasn't hard. Basically, you know what I'm, I think I'm gonna do. Let me uh, look at the area, area right quick. Make sure nothing's coming. I'm gonna try to get a video of me backing into the trailer for you guys. This drone, it's all uh, still kind of new to using it, but it's very, very accurate and clear. I guess I'm just not used to doing the whole antenna things. And knowing what the drone likes, let's see. Cause you guys, you guys can see the top of the trailers and everything. And there you go, four fourteen, trailer five three three, four six six. Okay. So um, let me see. I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go right there. I'm going to go up a little bit because I don't want anybody to come through and hit me and not be able to see me anything. And just kind of pan down. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to crank up and I'm going to leave that. We're being recorded right there. And let me make sure. Yeah. Yep. So I'm finna crack open everything. I know you guys just heard that door close. I'm in the Coronado, Freight on the Coronado with a 60 Series 12.7. And, um, like I said, I'm finna back into trailer 414, 533-466. I'm here in Franklin, Kentucky, off of I-65, exit six at the Tractor Supply DC. Um, it's one of our most used DCs here besides the one in Macon. As you guys see, I'm bending the corner right there. And uh, yeah, came to Franklin, um, about to take a load to Louisiana. And I got my oil changed this morning, so yeah, everything's good to go. I'm ready to rock and roll and, and do some shaking and baking, as I like to say to all my trucking people. Yep. So you guys see me there. I'm gonna go ahead and swing out. Go ahead and swing out so you can um, make sure you back into the trailer. And you guys always want to you use all the all the tools that you have around you. Um, you want to check both your mirrors. I'm gonna cut on your flashes. I got my lights on. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and back on in. Hey, you don't have to back in real fast. You don't want to back in too, too fast because you might break something. 
Um, because um, I've had a lot of problems with uh, fifth wheels, so to say. And this trail is super low, it's super low. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's too low. So I'm gonna pull back out. And I'm gonna drop my airbags. And basically when I say I'm gonna drop my bags is um these trucks have airbags on them that's um that helps the ride, you know, a little better, kinda keep everything leveled up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my bags and it's gonna drop the, the rear of the truck. And that allows me to get lower because like I said, the rear of the truck is lower. You guys hear that buzzer? That's um just an indication let me know that my bags have been dropped and everything. And there we go. So now I'm up under there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my switch back and I'm gonna do a torque test. Torque test is just basically making sure that everything is all good to go. Um, you always wanna do a torque test on your fifth wheel to make sure that your trail is properly latched and secured. And then after that, um, what I would do is from there, I would go, well actually first, let me let me slow down first of all. Let me, I'm gonna start my clock first because you have to do a 15 minute pre trip. So I'm starting my clock, we're going on duty. Okay, I'm going on duty right now. Then next, what I would do is, uh, I would get out the truck. You see in between the trailer, how you have, how you have your airlines and everything hooked up right there where you're at, uh, in between the truck and trailer. I will go ahead and I will connect my airlines. But uh, I'm not going to show you guys all that day. I'll make another video about that later on. But until then, I want you guys to keep it on your pimping. And uh, like I said, leave a comment on the videos, man. By the way, um, I got some straight pipes here on my truck now, so they sound pretty good. I know you guys probably can't hear it from there, but you know they sound pretty good though. Um, and like I said, you know, just leave a comment if any trucking questions you might have or anything like that. Then just kind of let me know. Thanks for watching. Trucker Dude underscore double XL. And that's on YouTube and Instagram. I wonder should I do a screen record of my own video? Let's see how you can do that. Like I said, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll be back later.